Welcome to the SmartLogic Customer Portal, your single point of access for Semaphore support, downloads, documentation, and community interaction. My name is Stephen Rice, and today I'll be taking you on a short tour. Let's start by logging into the service. Using a web browser, we type in the portal URL https colon forward slash forward slash portal.smartlogic.com and go. On the login page, we enter the details that have been provided to us by the portal administrators in email. Your username will be your email address. If you have a username but have forgotten your password, use the set new password link on the login page. If you haven't received your details, please contact your SmartLogic sales representative who will be happy to help. Let's continue and log into the portal. The main portal screen has a menu of options on the left. What you have selected in the large section on the right, and a search facility in the top right with several administrative options. Let's look at each of these in turn. The menu is split into logical categories. Support provides access to our support services, including the ability to enter a support ticket, documentation to written material about the Semaphore products, an early access program to software ahead of its actual release for evaluation and testing purposes. The main section on the right shows the information you have selected. In the top right, you'll find a search box that you can use to find anything on the portal. This includes the ability to search through older versions of the product documentation should you need to do so. Here you will also find options to update your profile or log out of the system. The software downloads are shown by selecting the option on the left side menu. This screen shows Semaphore licenses, software, or other files you've been given to download. To download a file, simply click on the relevant link. To select an earlier version of the software, use the drop down at the top of the page. SmartLogic provides a complete set of documentation for our software. Selecting product documentation from the navigation menu shows you what's available. Documentation is grouped by functionality, so if we are interested in how to install the software, we would go to the Getting Started slash Installation section of the page. But if we wanted information about how to use one of the components, we would go to the Components section. As with the rest of the portal, each document has a navigation menu shown on the left side of the screen. On the far right, there's a table of contents for the current section we are reading, allowing quick access to the information we require. There is also a pop-up menu that shows additional options, including one to display the entire document so we can view or print it in its entirety. You will notice the top of the screen shows us a path for where we are in the portal. In this case, we can see we are in the product documentation section of the portal in the Semaphore for Windows Installation Guide document. To return to the document list, I simply click on the link. On the main portal menu, the FAQs and How To's option gives you access to frequently asked questions and other how to information. These have been designed to quickly provide you with the information you need. For those new to Semaphore, we would suggest you start by reading the Introduction to Semaphore document to familiarize yourself with the terms used and component products. There's a lot of information here, but if you are stuck, remember you can always use a search box in the top right of the screen. Life with Semaphore is a series of articles by consultants about how to use Semaphore products, as well as announcements of new releases. To access these articles, select the Life with Semaphore option in the menu, or go directly to the site at https colon forward slash forward slash life.smartlogic.com, where you'll be asked to log in again. Use the same login details you've been given for the portal. As with the portal, a menu of articles is shown on the left. Clicking on an article name will show the article. New articles are constantly being added, and as a portal user, you will automatically receive an email whenever new articles appear. There is a forum section on the portal that you can use to post questions and receive community feedback. The forum is accessed by selecting the questions and answers option from the main menu. To post to the forum, simply scroll to the bottom of the page, type your question in the space provided, then press save. The new support ticket option on the portal menu gives you the ability to request help privately as well as submit administrative requests. This facility is in the form of a wizard. 
Select the relevant option and press the next button to continue. At any time, if you have gone to the wrong section, press the back button to return to the previous screen. Please fill in the information requested, then press the Submit button to send your request. You can expect to hear from us shortly. To see the status of any request submitted, use the Existing Tickets option. Thank you for your time. We hope this video has been helpful. The SmartLogic Customer Portal, a one-stop shop for all your semaphore needs.